camera right now. I'm not sure if I like it or not because to me the screen looks really small. But anyways, so um, so yeah, thumbs up if you're watching this because that means I actually got this on my YouTube and the new camera is working for me. So um, if I have this video up, it means that I like the camera, and it also means I can edit my videos now. So thumbs up to that too. Um, okay, so I wanted to use this new camera so I could edit, so I could see if I could try to edit my videos a little, and, um, I needed a simple video to do that, so I figured I wanted a simple video, but I also wanted an interesting video, and, um, so I'm gonna do a video that is a what's in my everyday makeup bag video. Um, I don't see these a lot, but I have seen a few. Um, this is just showing you what is in, sorry, um, um, this is just showing you what is in my everyday makeup bag, um, and this is not, this is definitely not all of my makeup. I actually have a bigger makeup bag, but that is going to have to be a completely different video. So, like this video or comment me below um, telling me if you want me to do that video or not on all of my makeup. But this is just a portion of my makeup. Um, this is what I will, if I'm rushing for school or rushing to go somewhere and I need to do my makeup in the car, I'll just grab this small bag and it fits in my pocketbook. Surprisingly, because it's pretty big. But, um, so yeah, I'll just, if I'm rushing to do my makeup or anything, I'll just grab this bag. Or if it's not an occasion, or even if it is an occasion, um, I'll, you know, just grab this bag. But if I do want to experiment with my makeup or try something new, or give myself a more dramatic look or whatever, I would go into my bigger makeup bag. It has more variety of makeups and colors and all of that. So, um, to get started, this bag came from um, Walmart, and it was actually in a whole set of makeup bags and if you go look at my video called makeup bags you can see where this came from how much it was and um, the whole set that it came in and all of that and you can see the um, the name of the bags and all of that which I'll put information below so anyways so this bag looks pretty sm pretty small, but then again, pretty, yeah, it looks pretty small, but it actually holds a lot of makeup. So, let's get started so I'm not sitting here talking all night about what's in my bag. I'm joking, guys. This video is not going to be that long. Um, so, first of all, in my makeup bag, my makeup bag opens this way. It opens... It zips um, and opens this way, opens like that. And this is probably one of my favorite makeup bags. That's prob that's why I made it my everyday makeup bag because I absolutely love it. I love the color. I love the way it opens. I love how it fits a bunch of stuff in here. Um, it's just a really great, really great bag. Okay. First thing in my makeup bag, I have my foundation. This is the foundation. I wear this every single day. Um, yeah, this is CoverGirl True Blend. Um, this is the number 3 in 440. It's my skin tone, and I use it, like I said, every day. Um, this is my ultimate favorite foundation. This is probably the only foundation... I have ever used. Um, yeah, I do have another foundation in here. 
So it's n this isn't the only foundation I've ever used because I have used this. This is a um, CoverGirl Ultimate Finish. I use this, and as you can see, it's pretty almost gone right now. But um, I use this on days that I don't really want to do my makeup that much. So I'll just um, I'll put this on and not have to worry about um, like if I'm laying at the house, laying around at the house, and I don't want to do my makeup completely, I'll just throw on some of this and some eyeliner or something, mascara, whatever, and be on with my day. But I usually don't use this every day. Um, the reason why it's almost gone is because I've had it for like two years maybe, so that's why it looks like that. Next thing I have in my makeup bag are these eyeshadows, and I've mentioned these in a few of my other videos I do believe um this is a sorry guys my camera's acting crazy this is um girls just because fashion eyeshadow I got this from like one of those little kitty makeup kits that you get for like when you're younger when you get for Christmas from like an aunt or uncle or something and they say you're getting older so they give you a makeup kit anyways um and this is the only thing I kept out of it because I like the colors of the eyeshadow and they're really light and if you know me if you watch my videos you know that I love pale colors like pale colors light colors pale pinks, pale purples, um, and skin tone colors and everything to that nature. So this is some <clears throat> really light pinks and purples and there's two skin tone skin tone colors over here. So yeah. The next thing I have in here is this eyeshadow I got from I got this from Target and it's called E.L.F. I call it Elf, don't know what or how you pronounce that, but I like these and yes again, these are really light pale colors. Um there's a skin tone that's actually a dark purple, but it goes on I'm actually wearing it now if you can tell in the video in the camera if it shows up anyways this is like a dark purple this is a black and this one is a light pink and of course I picked this up for the pink the purple and the skin tone color because I don't use black eyeshadow much so that's that the next eyeshadows I have in here and I think these are the last ones yeah, these are the last eyeshadows I have in here. These are, um, these are eyeshadows. This one is called, um, Icy Bronze, and it's a really beautiful, beautiful gold color. I absolutely love gold eyeshadows, especially for special occasions, and that one is so, so pretty. I love this one, and um, I don't really know how much this was. I've had it for a while. Anyways, and I usually use, I use, I cannot talk today, guys, sorry. This one I usually use as a base color. This is just a white. This one's called Glam Ice. And this has... I like these eyeshadows. They come from Walmart, but I'm not sure how much they were. But these have, if you can tell in them, they have like a slight sparkle in the eyeshadow. And I absolutely love that. So, I got these two, and I usually wear these two together. I usually use this one as a base and then have this one over top of it. 
The next thing I have in here is this powder. This also came from Target from that e.l.f. place or that e.l.f. brand or whatever. This is a powder that has a, um, a yellow, a blue, a green, and a pink in it. And I think those colors are really pretty. And they should be really good for the summertime too. So, and this was only like three dollars. So, I've only used it like once. Next thing, this is my everyday mascara. I use this just about every day. It's called Curl Up and Die Lash Curling Mascara. I absolutely love this stuff. The only um, disadvantage this has is it doesn't separate your lashes like I like it to. Um, but I do love the length and the volume that it gives you. Um, and I think the packaging is really cute. Hard Candy always has great, great um, packaging. Speaking of hard candy, my next item is this fox in the box. And I mentioned this in a lot of videos because I absolutely love this. I got this um, from Walmart and it was like, um, I think it was like $6 maybe. But I first saw it on YouTube. And um, this girl had a haul and she was showing um, her hard candy haul video or whatever and this was in it and she says she, and she had it on and so do I I have it on now and she was saying how great this blush was and all this other stuff and this is the only blush I use now I don't use any other blush but this this one is called spicy and sweet and this is what it looks like on the inside it's four different blush colors and it comes with this cute little um, hard candy brush and this brush is really really soft um, surprisingly and I actually use this little brush um, I don't use my own blush brush because I like this one so much but um, if you can tell I've used this a lot I don't I use this just about every single day because I absolutely fell in love with it. So I would suggest go checking this out. And you can get them from Walmart for like $6. Um, the next thing I have in here is this mascara from Revlon. I don't like waterproof mascara. This is the one that has the primer on one side and the mascara on the other. I don't use the mascara because this one is waterproof. I hate waterproof mascaras. Waterproof mascaras do not come off. Ex even if you have a makeup remover, it still won't come off for some reason. I don't. I hate waterproof mascaras. So I just use the primer, and I love the way it works. It like it gives me volume before I even put my mascara on, so it doesn't even matter what mascara I'm using if I use this primer it helps me okay. the next thing I have in here is another mascara this one is a Clinique um, mascara it is high length mascara and I think the brush is really cute because it's got like bristles on it that like brush your last brush your lashes before the mascara even goes on and this mascara I usually don't like pricey makeup but um this was a Christmas present so I didn't buy this and I absolutely fell in love with it and I absolutely love it I'm kind of running out of it and I'm kind of sad because I don't want to go buy it I don't want to go spend my money on this, but it is really great mascara. Next things I have in here are just regular penciled mascaras. 
I mean, mascaras, eyeliners. This one is just a black from CoverGirl. And this one is from Maybelline, New York, Define Line. And this one's just a black eyeliner. The next things I have in here are my concealers. And I have a pencil sharpener to this one, but this pencil sharpener is too small for this big pencil. Anyways, this is my favorite concealer, so I'm going to have to find something to sharpen this thing with because I absolutely love this one. This one is a Clinique concealer, but I don't like this one as much because it's yellow. And I don't like, it's like, if you can tell, it's like a yellowish color. I don't like, um yellow concealers see that I just I don't like that at all I like to be able to put my concealer on without foundation if I wanted to and this one does that this one is a Carl medium in the shade medium but you pencil on where you want your concealer and then on this side it has like a little sponge that comes with it that you can like rub it in so you don't have to worry about um, people seeing your concealer like just drawn on your face okay next what I have in here is oh, I forgot to show you this stuff. Almost forgot it. This is a hard candy um, eyeshadow primer. I wear this just about every day. Um, I'm kind of running out, so I gotta go get some more. But this stuff is amazing. I love this eyeshadow primer because, um, well, this is the only one I've ever used, so I don't, I can't compare it to another one. But I absolutely love it. This came in a um in a hard candy kit that I got for Christmas and that's when I fell in love with hard candy makeup and this um, primer is supposed to um, reduce creasing in your eyeshadow and I think it works um, it does me amazing and it helps your eyeshadow stay on all day long so I absolutely suggest getting some of this because it is absolutely one of my best friends. Okay. The next things I have in here really aren't makeup, but they do pertain to makeup. This one is a Clinique um, blush brush that I don't use very much. Don't know why. But it just it twists like this and the top goes on. And I think that is so cute. So you can take it anywhere. So. And then I have these little brushes. I have this blush brush. These eye and makeup. I mean eye and lip brushes. And these came from Target. I think they were like $3. And then I have some of these eyeshadow applicators. And then the last thing I have in here are my cheetah print tweezers and I don't know why these are in here guys so don't ask but these are my cheetah print nail clippers um I guess whenever I'm doing my makeup and I see like um a nail that needs clipping I guess I can just clip them because they're in my um they're in my bag so yeah that's it guys um hopefully oh did I show? I did not show this to you. This is one of my favorite um, lip products. This is a Carmex Moisture Plus. Um, I got this from Walgreens, and I'm wearing this right now. I love this stuff because it's um, it's a chapstick, but as you can see, it looks like a lip gloss, and this is what it looks like. That is the prettiest pink I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I absolutely love this stuff because, I'm going to show you again, because 
I absolutely love this stuff because it works as a chapstick but it gives you the look of a lip gloss and I have always wondered like when I was little and my mom told me to put chapstick on I absolutely hated it because it had no color to it had no shine all it did was just it put made my lips smooth that's it I wanted something that made my lips smooth but looked really good and this absolutely does the trick and this was only like 99 cent at Walgreens I think so I definitely 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 suggest you get some Car CarMax Moisture Plus in um I think it's sheer, sheer pink I think is the tint so yeah um so yeah that's all that's in my makeup bag guys um, so I hope this video helped you in any way possible. Um, comment me below, subscribe please, um, and like this video, don't dislike because we don't like dislikes up here. Um, so yeah, um, comment me below, tell me how this video helped you, what's in your everyday makeup bag. Do a video response, because I'd like to see one of those. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.